A former deputy returns to his old office with a shotgun and opens fire. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen spoke to investigators who believe Jody Simmons pulled up to the Hickman County Sheriff's Department with the intent to do harm. This morning around 930, investigators say former deputy Jody Simmons pulled up to the Hickman County Sheriff's Office in a truck and got out with a shotgun. He walked into the administrative parking lot, discharged one round, which struck two of our vehicles. The vehicles belonged to the deputy chief and a detective. He then proceeded to, to shout something at the building, walked towards the parking lot where a TBI special agent had just come into the parking lot on a different matter. He walks towards the agent, doesn't recognize the agent, walks away from the agent. Sergeant Michael Dotto believes Simmons then tried to get into the building. It was all captured on video. A law enforcement center is supposed to be a safe place, but citizens I talked to today tell me they feel nowhere is safe anymore. Yeah, we came over here to take care of some business and I, I wanted to leave right away just hearing about it. Julia, who was too scared to go on camera, says Centerville residents are shaken up after hearing about the active shooter situation. We're a very tight community and we look out for each other. So I'm glad that nobody was hurt. Simmons was let go from the Hickman County Sheriff's Department several years ago after he pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and failure to appear. Back in 2017, Jody Simmons was involved in a domestic incident. I believe it was at his brother or his cousin's house. Uh, he did discharge one firearm. That incident was also captured on video. After the incident, he lost his certificate that allowed him to be a law enforcement officer. According to Sergeant Dotto, this morning's ordeal lasted under five minutes. Hickman County deputies and Centerville police officers took quick action to get Simmons into custody without incident before things could escalate. Nobody was hurt. Vehicles were damaged, so obviously it was best case scenario. Reporting in Hickman County, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Simmons faces 15 counts, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, reckless endangerment, felony vandalism, and retaliation after the fact. He's being held on a $300,000 bond.